two minute review time for the N64's unreleased sequel to Glover. And right off the bat, I will admit, I may break the rules. This will not be two minutes long, will be slightly longer. You'll see why in a second. On level 23 of Remember 64, you can hear us talk about Glover and some of its history and its development, but also a little bit about this unreleased sequel called Glover 2. Now, the reasons why are a little bit funny, a little bit complicated, and just so typical 90s. Publisher Hasbro had planned on acquiring 150,000 units of N64 cartridges for the game, so an employee at Hasbro in charge of ordering the carts not only bumped up the amount over 150, but they doubled it to 300,000. That left Hasbro with literally thousands of extras as retailers were not biting on the additional stock of the release. This cost Hasbro an estimated half a million dollars, and in the end, they ate the loss and decided to cancel the project due to financial situations. Okay, to the game itself and my mini review about it, it's better than the original. Even though this is not finished, even though this is only a couple hours of gameplay, just the small snippets that are included in this ROM that you can find on the Internet Archive, um, honestly, it's just a lot more fun. It reminds me a lot more of the uh, collectathons a la Banjo Kazooie, which uh, some of you may know is one of my favorite games of all time and franchises. But, uh, you know, it, it moves a lot better. I think there's some ideas that work better. The way that the world is a little bit more open, so to speak, also works better. And um, it honestly controls a little bit better than the original as well, which was a big, big problem when we were talking about uh, Glover on level 23 of the podcast. If you have the availability on a ROM device on your computer to play Glover 2 and you have any interest in Glover itself, I would say give this one a shot. It also has some pretty funny touches, such as these characters, which, yeah, I guess they're trying to give them voices, but let's be honest, we know what they actually sound like. Glover 2, unreleased sequel to the original for the N64, ROM available right now on the Internet Archive. I would say, give it a shot, have some fun for about an hour or so. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. 